Since early morning, Los Angeles residents have been bringing humanitarian aid, including warm clothes and other essentials, to this mosque so that it can be sent to Turkey and Syria. We are collecting uh, winter clothes for uh, Turkish people. As we know that uh, Turkey has a really big disaster, and at this point, any humanity, either Muslim or non-Muslim or different faith, if they get hurt, we feel that we are getting hurt. So we are helping each and every person. We at this masjid respond very kindly. And I have seen some clothes here that are summer clothes. What we need most are blankets and uh, winter clothes like this. Residents throughout California are stepping up with aid for earthquake survivors across the ocean. Nuidan CV is a singer and a volunteer in Northern California. For years, she's been collecting money to help Turkish children to get an education. Maybe instead of uh, sending kids to school, uh, giving them scholarships, maybe we're going to uh, use the uh, funds to uh, build new schools. Uh, so we will use the funds um, for maybe more essential needs. Businessman Murad Karslioilu has sent all the trucks from his firm to transport humanitarian aid from collection centers to the airports in San Francisco and Los Angeles. Most boxes contain warm clothing and hygiene essentials for women and small children. The only thing we can do from 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 uh, here, well, providing them uh, things to help them survive, blankets, tents again, and because difficult, uh, they will go through difficult uh, next three, six months at least, and then after that, well, recovery will take at least one, one year, maybe longer than that. U.S. rescue teams, along with their search dogs, are also on the way to help, and they're taking tons of humanitarian aid with them. Californians know all too well about this kind of catastrophe. The state itself is situated on the very active San Andreas Fault, making the region susceptible to powerful and dangerous earthquakes. Frangelina Bagdasaran in Los Angeles, California, NRI's VOA News.